What is happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode of the Hilux Rebuild, we are working on the rear axle. So this thing is leaking a little bit of oil and well, it's from a 1977. So it's got some miles on it and it needs a little bit of work. So I went through and bought all new bearings, seals, gaskets, everything for this. Depending on the condition of the ring and pinion, I'm sure it's just fine, but I probably will be leaving that. Just go through, do all new bearing seals, give it a paint job. So let's check it out real quick and then we'll get to work tearing this thing down and rebuilding it. So here it is, all in all, really not too bad a shape. Like I said, the pinion seal up front was leaking. Doesn't look like any of the wheel seals or anything were leaking, but that's all gonna get replaced either way. We're gonna go through and do all the bearings and everything. So let's tear this thing apart and get to work. Right, we've got the axle shafts apart. Now I'm going to work on this pinion seal. So actually a little tip for you guys. You can see this nut is staked here and it's already loose. A few trucks I've worked on have had the same thing. So there's actually a crush sleeve in here. And I think as you just drive it, that crush sleeve crushes. What you kind of got to do is just pull this off. And then when you put it back on, you I believe this torque spec is 90 foot pounds. You don't want to go any tighter than that because then you keep on crushing that crush sleeve that you don't want to crush any more than you need to. We'll pull this off and then replace that seal and just torque this to 90. And it is going to be past where it's already smashed in there, but that is fine. Just make sure the nut is tight. All right guys, do not torque this nut to 90 foot pounds. All the other trucks, like this red truck, I did 90 foot pounds on, but this one is, I, you barely get past finger tight with it and it starts to get stiff. So I just went right back, just pretty much finger tight, right where the other stake was, and it 
just it's been smooth and free now so I just restaked it pretty much in the same spot so I'm not sure what is the difference between that and say that truck but like I said that one I torqued to 90 foot pounds and it was 100% fine All right, we got this axle housing and third member ready for paint. So I'm actually gonna paint it right now and I am gonna take the third member out, reseal that. But it does seem in pretty good shape. I don't think we'll need to do any work at all to the third member. So what we're gonna use for paint, kind of trying something new. I haven't actually ever used this stuff, but it is the SEM Rust Shield. And then you can actually spray it as is right out of the can, but you can throw this hardener in it and it adds a little bit of durability. It says it adds a little bit of gloss, but not too worried about that. I just want it as strong as possible. So we'll throw some hardener in it and hose this thing out. We're gonna do three coats. I did sand it with just some Scotch-Brite, but it says you can go over bare steel, painted surfaces and direct to rust. So. We're gonna try it out, hopefully it works good. And then the drums and backing plates, I'm going to powder coat those. So we gotta get those in the blaster, sandblast them, and then we'll powder coat those.
What am I thinking, guys? I just realized I completely took this entire axle apart and I didn't even weld the diff. I don't know how I didn't think of it till right now the axle is back together. I'm not gonna tear it apart right now, but in the future, I think I'll probably end up taking this thing back apart and welding that diff together. We got a few other things to do this axle. We gotta get all the brakes on. Also, if you guys have any leads on the e-brake, this is about all that's left of my entire e-brake system. So I need the cables from the actual axle up to I think the cross member. I'm not sure if there's like a little lever like the newer trucks on the cross member. Like I said, it's all gone. It's all completely missing and I can't find any replacements. If you guys have any of these parts, let me know. I'm not sure if the 79 and up cables are the same. I gotta do a little bit more research on that still, but let's get the brakes on for now, get this axle complete, and then once, if I ever find an e-brake system, I'll pull this thing apart and add the cables to these drums. There we go guys, axle is back together 100%. We are good to go other than those e-brake cables. So like I said, if you guys got a lead on those cables, let me know, drop a comment. You can also email me, I'll drop my email address down below. So far this rust paint, the rust shield seems to be pretty decent. They say it takes like seven days to fully harden up, which I can still feel. It is pretty soft, it's been about two days now. So we'll see once it fully hardens up, see how strong it is, and hopefully we don't have any issues with that. The powder coating, like always, went smooth, went easy. It's done, it's cured. As soon as you pull it out of the oven and it cools off, it is cured. So that is one reason I love powder coat so much. Obviously, I don't have a big enough oven for the whole housing, but if I have a chance to powder coat something, I'm gonna do it because for one, it's a way better coating, it's way harder, it sticks way better, it doesn't chip, it doesn't really fade. All in all, it's just a better coating than paint. If you guys wanna check out the products I've been using, you can head over to prismaticpowders.com. They have an incredible selection of powder coat. This one is called Stone Black. It's one of my go-tos, it's kind of a satin black. It's a little bit more dull than what's on the housing, but it is what it is. I'm not too worried about that. It looks really good together. Well, I'm gonna wrap this video up here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something. Go drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.